the Pennsylvania Railroad's S1 class. Only one of these monster engines was ever built, and it led the railroad down a path that almost changed railroading forever. Stepping away from our home in the Blue Ridge Mountains, I present to you the story of the Pennsylvania Railroad's only S1, number 6100. There is little to any film remaining of this locomotive, or its more successful counterpart, the T1. Due to this, I will use photos I have found for this video. The S1 class steam locomotive was a single experimental duplex locomotive of the Pennsylvania Railroad. It was designed to demonstrate the advantages of duplex drives designed by Baldwin Chief Engineer, Ralph P. Johnson. It was the longest and heaviest rigid frame reciprocating steam locomotive that was ever built. The streamlined, Art Deco-styled shell of the locomotive was designed by famed locomotive streamliner, Raymond Lowy. The S1 had a unique 6 for 4 6 wheel arrangement, meaning that it had two pairs of cylinders, each driving two pairs of driving wheels. To achieve stability at fast passenger train speeds, normally over 100 miles per hour, articulation was not used. The S1 was completed on January 31, 1939 at Altoona Shops, and was numbered 6100. At 140 feet long between tender and locomotive, it was the longest rigid frame locomotive ever conceived in the world. Although a record holder, this massive size would ultimately prove to be its downfall. But, we will get to that soon enough. In terms of tractive effort and drawbar horsepower, the S1 was the most potent rigid frame locomotive ever built for passenger service. During a test run between Chicago, Illinois and Crestline, Ohio in December 1940, the S1 managed to reach 100 miles per hour on level track with a combined weight of 24 lightweight coaches behind her. The S1 managed to serve between Chicago and Crestline, Ohio for almost five years, made it having the longest serving record among all experimental steam engine prototypes of the railroad, such as the Q1 for 6 for 4 and S2 turbine 686. Even with a valuable service life, and admittedly breaking the steam speed record, the flaws of this locomotive were drastic enough to put it out of service by 1949. The flaws that caused this locomotive, and its T1 series counterpart, to fail in the long run, was wheel slippage in starting, and at speed. However, that was not the major issue at play. Although the wheel slipping was a major issue with this type of locomotive, it was the maintenance costs and running costs that ultimately silenced the bullet-nosed streamliners for good. Even with these issues, the S1 served the Pennsylvania Railroad until being scrapped in 1949. However, the T1 series would see 50 locomotives produced and service the railroad until 1956. None of the duplex locomotives from the Pennsylvania Railroad survived. However, there is hope of a T1 seeing the rails again in the very near future. In 2014, the T1 Trust was founded and swore to rebuild a Pennsylvania Railroad T1 from the ground up. With blueprints being used and donations from thousands going to the rebuild, the boiler of number 5550, as well as her cab, has been completed as of 2022. The projected time of completion is around 2030, as a tender for the locomotive has been found. The number 5550 is a tip of the hat to the class as it is the next number in line for production. I hope you all enjoyed this rather short video. The work on the Root of Legends continues so stay tuned. Until next time, 